today we're going to be teaching an AI to play Super Smash Bros Brawl. Not only that, we're going to be training it using reinforcement learning, meaning it's going to be learning from no human knowledge via trial and error. Using nothing but a GameCube controller and almost a billion frames of gameplay, will the AI prove itself to be just another button mashing buffoon or will we see fighting at a level far beyond what humans are ever capable of? Today we're going to be tackling the Endless Brawl game mode, where the AI will fight an unlimited stream of enemies until its eventual demise. To learn its behaviour, our AI will be given some remarkably simple feedback. Killing an enemy will claim a reward of plus one. Taking damage will receive a penalty of negative 0.05 per 1% of damage taken. And dying will have a major penalty of minus one, but more importantly, ends the game, meaning the AI can no longer earn any reward. This AI will be using the most bleeding edge AI there is, called Beyond the Rainbow, which uses only raw pixel information as input and can be run on just a desktop PC. This AI will have a total of 35 actions at its disposal. That may sound like quite a few, however most of them just involve pressing the same button with the stick in a different position. Thankfully, Super Smash Bros Brawl has a fairly simple action space, meaning these 35 actions pretty much cover everything possible in the game. Throughout the video, you'll also be able to see how much the AI rates each of the actions with the chosen action highlighted in yellow. Alright, now you know how the AI works, it's time to see it in action. Slight catch though, this AI spent around 300 hours practicing the game, even in sped up and playing multiple games at once. So we'll just be taking a peek at some of the AI's snapshots across its days of training. So when our AI starts out, it knows absolutely nothing about the game it's playing, so it begins by simply exploring its environment, or in other words, just randomly mashing buttons. In reinforcement learning, there's always a trade-off between performing actions we know are good and trying something new which might be better. At the start of training, since we know nothing, the best way forward is just to try as many different things as we can. This AI learned shockingly fast. After just one hour, it was already rivaling an average human player. It seemed to figure out a basic move that could instantly take enemies out right from the start, which is probably the biggest find from the exploration period. It likely noticed that this move regularly seemed to provide rewards, therefore it learned to just spam this ability. Despite this though, the AI still had a lot more exploration left to do, since it's still really unoptimized and appears to still be a bit clueless in quite a few different situations. After 4 hours, the AI is able to increase its repertoire of moves, however still does a lot of strange things and mostly still relies on the upwards punch move in order to get most of its points. To explore effectively, while at the start that AI was just randomly pressing buttons, later in training it uses a slightly more sophisticated approach called noisy networks. Essentially, we inject some randomness into the AI's neural network, causing the AI's choice of actions to be slightly perturbed compared to what normally happens. This means the AI will still choose actions which it knows are pretty good, but it's much more likely to try all new actions which it maybe thinks could be good, but it just isn't sure yet. Skipping forward to 20 hours, and the AI is now getting scores rivaling my own best score, getting a score of 34 while still doing a bunch of stuff that doesn't seem to make much sense. You see, reinforcement learning AI only care about rewards, meaning if two sequences of actions get the same reward, it will almost certainly be indifferent between them. This is very different to humans, who tend to have a slightly more structured way of acting. We may think of ourselves as acting more logically, but the AI really shows that when you only have the true objective of the game in mind, many small details are just irrelevant. After almost three days of training, the AI is starting to really improve, now exceeding my own best score. One thing that AI appears to learn compared to earlier in training is that staying on the platform is quite important. I mean, well before, the AI didn't just wander into the abyss. If it did get launched off the side though, it made little or no attempt to try and recover. Whereas now, it seems to have learned that, you know, that's quite important. Despite this, there are still a few occasions where that AI does some strange things when not above the platform. Perhaps that AI believes that if it does move towards the platform, it will just get hit by an enemy and still fall off anyway, but it's really hard to understand exactly what the AI is thinking. 
Now skipping ahead to more than double the previous training time, with almost an entire week of real time in the game, the AI is now looking pretty terrifying, and even learns to commonly take down multiple enemies with a single move. Also just to be clear, when I say 150 hours, I mean 150 hours of real time that my computer was running for, not 150 hours of in-game time. When training, the AI plays on 4 emulators at once, and plays each of those substantially faster than normal game speed. With all of this combined, at this point in training, the AI has played a total of around 50 days non-stop of Endless Brawl. While this looks pretty cool though, I promise it's nothing compared to the final AI, which has around 300 hours of PC time or about 100 days of in-game time. After this training, the AI was truly a god at the game. So without further ado, here is the AI's best attempt. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video made your day just a little bit better and I hope to see you again in the next one.